One morning I could be painting Queen's hands. In the afternoon I could be doing J. Charles hairstyle. I wanted like a job that is related to art. That's why when I saw this job online, I, I thought to myself, it seems like a cool but bizarre job. Hi, I'm Ayu. I work as a wax maintenance artist at Madame Tussauds Singapore. My days is always different. I could be painting Queen's hands and in the afternoon, I could be doing J. Charles hairstyle. For our hair to be done, it will roughly take about three to four hours because we need to like wash it, dry it and style it. The most challenging part to paint is the face because it's the first thing that people would notice. I need to make sure that I paint the figures to look alike like the celebrity itself. Even the skin tones. We do have our maintenance files it contains all the information that we need, so we all based on that to do the paint work and all that. So this is the celebrity that I love, Dwayne Johnson. He's just looking so sharp. It's awesome. There's one occasion where an ear needs to be fixed. Me and my manager came down to fix. When we look back, there's a bunch of guests that were trying to take selfies with us as if we are the celebrities when we're not. When we do, we try to make it uh, very quick. Besides me, there's uh, Danielle Hi, and my... Could you just help me with uh, my hairstyle? I'm actually in the middle of something and this is my manager, Chelsea. Oh, hi! Any questions for me? Some people think our job can be a little bit creepy or a little bit weird um, considering kind of the background and the history of Madame Tussauds and where, how it came about. But for us it's second nature that the wax figures don't talk and they come apart in pieces. But there's nothing creepy about it, it's just kind of pieces of artwork. For me, I think my favourite part of the job is when we get to meet the celebrities at their sitting and they're obviously so excited um, to start the process, a little bit nervous, but we gather all the information that we need with them on that day to start recreating their figure back in London. So it's anything from hundreds of measurements, hundreds of photographs in the pose that um, we've decided on, and they hold this for around three hours. We gather all the information we need from eye colour, skin colour, um, teeth shade, everything, and then we take that back to London and we can start making the figure. Recently, we had Kajal Agawal come and do a launch with us, which was amazing. We brought all her friends and family down, um, and it was really nice that her mum was like, oh, you've, you've captured my daughter perfectly. It was really sweet. Before COVID, we would encourage guests to get up close and personal with the wax figures and interact with their selfies and everything like that. Whereas now we ask the guests to not touch the figures, obviously for hygiene reasons and just to keep everyone as safe as possible. My advice would be to stay creative even within the work or outside the work because even for myself, after work I would be doing my oil painting just to improve my skills. If people were keen to develop their skills of what we do, it's you need to notice the small things because that's what makes our figures look so incredible and lifelike is the small details that we make sure that they have down to um, you know, little freckles or just the small details that um, people notice, which is good. Hi, I'm Ayu. And I'm Chelsea. And this, this is what, what we do, do what, what we do. do. Oh, that was the best one. <laughs> you gave me a little side eye, I liked it.